bom dia from Copacabana yeah. it's too bright but it's there straight from the airport to a coffee on the beach Spot the British the person wearing the most clothes in a square mile. Yeah, he's there. La chaussure officielle de la ville, la tongue. Les tongues de Rich ont lâché deux jours avant qu'on arrive à Rio. Quoi de mieux que d'en acheter des nouvelles dans la capitale mondiale des tongues. Ah, voilà des pieds qui respirent. The famous Copacabana, Rio's main beach. Sundays they close the seafront to the cars and people can cycle and run. Rio's second beach, Ipanema. My eyes are sweating. <laughs> Il fait chaud! En route to the sunset point, there where everyone is on this rock. A sunset on the Aprador rocks is a thing every evening with locals and tourists. We've been told to try the Globo biscuits sold on the beach. Here is a vendor. C'est good? Tobim? Tentative numéro 1. Raté trop de nuages. On this part of the beach, they have set up volleyball and football pitches for people to practice and use um, to train. But we're not doing sports, we're getting fat and trying a typical snack called acai or acai. Not sure what this is, but um, it's supposed to be a healthy power food. It doesn't look very healthy. Oh, it's frozen <laughs> and also not very good. Tentative numéro 2, cette fois avec du soleil. Et voilà, cette fois-ci, beaucoup mieux. Au Brésil, on applaudit le coucher de soleil. Even at night, the beach is the place to be, whether it is for apéro, a run after the heat of the day, Go for a swim, fish, an evening stroll, or workout. One big improvement for us is that we finally have two real rooms with a real door so we can both work and have calls without hearing each other. Et on est à 200 mètres de la plage. On est le 19 mars, il est 9h52 et il fait 34 degrés. And it's Saturday, everyone's going to the beach. Une fois n'est pas coutume, on termine notre semaine par un tour guidé de la, du centre historique de la ville à pied. Si vous vous dites que ça ressemble à Paris, c'est normal. Le théâtre municipal a été fait pour être une réplique de l'Opéra de Paris, juste en plus petit. La cathédrale, très moderne. Better from inside than from outside. You can fit 20,000 people. It's a stadium church. 
dans le centre se trouvent de nombreux bureaux, de banques, compagnies, entreprises, etc. Et du coup, le week-end, il n'y a personne. C'est vide. And once in a while, among the office buildings, a church. A bit more lively in this neighborhood. One of the most popular cafes in downtown. We spend the afternoon in the artsy bohemian neighborhood of Santa Teresa. In the 1850s, the wealthy moved from downtown up to Santa Teresa Hill because it was much nicer and the air was cooler. Downtown was crowded and dirty, not good enough. From the top of the hill, you get an amazing view of Rio downtown and the bay. Now the wealthy people have moved out back to the beach but artists and other more bohemian people have moved in and that gives a special vibe to Santa Teresa. This is my favorite snack, Pao de Queixo. Um, cheese bread, uh, it's just delicious, cheese and bread. Can you have too many videos of tramway? I don't think so. Cathedral and the central business district viewed from Santa Teresa. Tout en bas de la colline, il y a des escaliers très connus qui sont le royaume des Instagrammeurs. Les escaliers ont été entièrement carrelés par un artiste qui s'appelle Célaron et du coup c'est l'endroit rêvé pour prendre des photos. Instagram queue for the best photo. That's all for now for Rio. Um, that was just a teaser. And now we're off to Argentina for a month and a half and we're back to Brazil after that. Ciao!